So about a week ago, I had a crash on my bike riding to work, um, fracturing my L3. I'm okay. It is sore to, to fracture an L3, but let's not worry about that now. Being a 3D artist, I know where the crash started and I know where I had landed, but let's kind of do like a true detective style and do a 3D render and see if we can work out what actually happened. So this is the photo that I pretty much took directly after my accident just to try and get it into my head and so I could um, tell people actually what happened, you know, especially doctors and so on and so forth. This was my arm about half an hour ago. You can see that it was a giant lump. It hurt like anything. Um, and I was just lying down here with an ice pack on my back. But this is my leg. About four or five days later, you can see that it's pretty heavily bruising. So I know I hit my leg somewhere. So from here, I jumped over into Blender. I used the Perspective Plotter add-on and Google Maps here just to kind of line everything up and get to the best scale as possible. Created the fence very quickly. And then go ahead and start creating the terrain uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of aesthetic. So this is the final creation of the location. I didn't put too much effort into it because, you know, we're just trying to do a breakdown. If we have looked this path here, it is on a slight downward slope. And this is where that wonderful black ice was that I hit that hurt like anything. Now I've gone ahead, I've added in a bike and added in myself as well. There we go, look at you buddy, looking so nice. Yes, I am a gigantor. So I know that I rode the bike down the hill. It was all safe. And then this is where it got nasty. So if we kind of come all the way down, this is kind of like where I lost control. Um, I started to raise my hand up. I'm just gonna come into here just so we can view it a little bit better. I started to raise my hand up to block it. And from my memory, this is where it all started to fall apart. Now, if we go back through and look at the photo, we know I ended up something like this. Now in the bottom left hand corner of the photo, you can see that there's some scrapes and that was my cleats rubbing up against the ice as I was getting up. So we need to kind of work out what happened in between those two points. Now, if we go back and have a look at that bruise on my leg, we know that the left leg here was what I hit. Now kind of recreating it, I know that I wouldn't have hit the left leg here because that probably would have stopped me and I wouldn't have ended up all the way down here. So what I'm thinking is that I've done kind of like a massive flip in the air and I've hit my leg on that rail. Because I mean, obviously I didn't take the full brunt of the impact. So I reckon I've done a giant flip. So now I've kind of gone ahead and animated that. And so as we're riding down, the bike loses control, brace for impact, bounce off, rotate around, bang. And then we come down and we slam my back into the concrete. And what did all the damage was a set of headphones in my backpack that I landed on. So here's a render of what the accident would have looked like. Yeah, geez. And uh, here's a first person view of that crash. Yep, yeah, that's that's what I felt like. Oh, let me have a Nope, let me sit down. Um, <laughs> so the very first thing once I realized that I had a crash is um, I had some prayer, I assessed my situation. So what I did is I wiggled my fingers, wiggled my toes, cool, my spine's not broken, so I understood that. And then I had to make the choices, do I just get up? Do I call an ambulance? How do I explain to the ambulance where I am? Um, but I ended up making the decision just to get up, walk home, because uh, I was only about five, 600 meters away. So yeah, and then went to the hospital, x-rays, CT scans, um, Big thanks to the Canberra Hospital because they didn't have to pay anything. So, <laughs> well done Australia, good job.